Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. This is part two of how to get a handle of your odd time signatures, how to master them. So step two is gonna be an elaboration on step one, which is all about feeling that main pulse, that bop, 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 bop. Bup, bup. That's the core rhythm for 7-4 that I want you to be working on. By the way, for 5-4, you can do something like this. Bum, 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 bum. And in the last video, what we did is we took that rhythm and we played it over a blues by just using the roots. So I did the 7-4 last time. I'll do the 5-4 this time. So remember, it's bum, 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 I'll do it on the saxophone. This is in concert B flat. One, two, three, four, five. Once you get comfortable doing that, then you can go to the next step, which is taking the same rhythm, just focusing on that one rhythm, don't stray from it, but you can change the notes now. So let's go back to the 7-4 version. This is going to be bum, 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 and so on. Here we go. And this time I'm going to change the notes up. First I'm going to keep it um, kind of contained. I'm only going to use chord tones. That's a good way to kind of ease yourself into using other notes without getting too overwhelmed by all the options out there. All right, so this is 7-4 using that one rhythm, and I'm going to explore other chord tones here. One, two, three, four, five, six, jump. <laughs> but opening the, uh, you know, the, the options to where it's a little bit more, there's a little bit more freedom there. And then, once you're able to do that, we're actually going to reel you back in, so you're gonna go just to the roots again, but this time, we're gonna start elaborating, start embellishing that core rhythm. So now we can start playing around with that bum, 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 something like uh, maybe this. Bum bum ba ba bum ba bum bum ba ba bum ba bum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba bum ba bum ba ba da 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 So that rhythm is still under there, but now we are just elaborating on it, embellishing the rhythm, filling in some of those gaps maybe. And remember, we're just using roots to begin with, and then we'll expand again to other chord tones. So here's just roots. Um embellishing the, the main pulse rhythm there. One, two, three, four, five, six, So you can still feel that rhythm underneath all of that other stuff that I'm playing, um, but that's why it feels grounded and solidified. Now there are ways to make it a little bit less in the box. We're going to talk about that in the next video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and of course, as I, said, as I said before, the next step after what I just played was experiment with other notes, add to the roots, add other chord tones, and also be embellishing that rhythm there. So let me know how that goes. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Whoa, what was that? First, I'm Jeff Schneider, and that was, uh, well, it was the altered dominant scale. I know it didn't sound like a scale, but all of those notes came from what's called the altered dominant scale, and that's what we're gonna talk about today.